What up? Oh, what's going on, man? YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also some content for this channel. I'm in Dallas. It is crazy raining, but we are here. Look, the one, the only. Vulcan Machine Works, baby. Let's see who's in here. What's oh, up? What's going on, man? It's wet. It is. Fucking get in. Wait. Look at this. I'll clean the lens off real quick here and... Jeremy, what's going on, buddy? Monday. Monday, Monday. So, Jeremy's been cool enough to let us come visit, and we are going to do something I wanted to do for a while, a shop tour, so take yep. it away, bud. All right, so we'll kind of do a little U-shape. So, back here is gonna be shipping, receiving. Cool. Over here, we've got our VF2 SS. This is the one that we do a lot of optic cuts on. That's custom made rotary, gets all of this beautiness. Cut them down eight at a time. That is a lot cool. of slides. Eight at a time? Yep. Nice. Eight at a time. So over here is where we're doing all of uh, our laser work. Unfortunately, our laser is currently at the manufacturer getting fixed. So we've got this little turd that we're dealing with right now. A little loner? A little loner. Uh, right here is where we intake customers. So Another camera. I wonder who's here. Yeah. Uh, so you come back over here. Secret scroll stuff back there. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> What's up, man? So over here is one of our teardown rebuild benches. Over here is where we do assembly, where we do some gun smithing. Uh, some of the builds that we're working on right now. We've got different customer orders here and back over here. So right now we're getting ready to work on uh, this goodness. We will find it. Oh, we got our machinist Remy in the DM. Hey, this guy looks like somebody who works at QVO. Hey. Just finding some new tools for him. Yeah, bring your checkbook. <laughs> All right, so when we continue on, we've got our Skunk Works area. This is top secret. This is where all the new shit is getting ready to drop at the end of the year is happening. These are some of customer staccatos we're working on. We've got our Cerakote ovens. Some projects waiting to go into the booth. This is our spray booth right now with a very rare view of clean ass filters. Man. So, I know, but here's the best part, right here. We offer special services for the booth. <laughs> just for you. This is I where we got, just got this video demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these are all of our current colors in stock. Everything we do is all computer controlled, custom weighted. We've got our jerking machine, which is where we, where we mix up all the goodies. Where you jerk it. Yep, we've got blasting. So this is where we do all of the prep, the Cerakote work. And this is projects that we've got ready to go for this week for Cerakoting. Uh, compressors are back there. We've got our tumbler, so all of our aluminum parts just before they go out to Anno, get a nice little tumble bath. And that's a quick shop tour. Awesome, man. I'm gonna sit with you for a second, do a little uh, Q&A set. Cool. 
All right, guys, so we just got the, what did you call it? The nickel? It's more of a dime. More of a dime? Nickel, whatever, same thing. We got the uh, the dime tour of Vulcan Machine Works. I'm here with Jeremy. I wanted to ask him a couple questions on camera just uh, for my own wanting to know, but as well as for you guys. Uh, first question I have, Jeremy. Uh, right now, how many orders are you guys shipping out about a month? So, on average, it fluctuates typically between like 150, 200. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. A lot of it is going to be dependent what's happening in the political climate, what time of season we're in. So we're still in our busy season, which is okay. where we see a lot of shooters that don't really want to part with their stuff. So we see a mass influx towards the end of the year, beginning of the year, you know, Christmas, tax time, anytime there's an influx in money back to people, that's where we really see a spike. But right now, I guess you could say slow season. Do you guys do a whole Black Friday thing too? Uh, this year we will. For whatever reason, we waited a long ass time before we launched our e-commerce site. And how the hell we made it as far as we did on our busted ass website. It's like, <laughs> dude, I think it was like five years old. But the good news is now that we've got e-commerce and we're able to push out coupon codes, we'll probably do some Black Friday deals. Okay, I'm not cool. sure what that's gonna look like or what that's gonna entail, but this year we'll be able to offer more. Okay, so. all right. Uh, with the 150 to 200 orders going out, what's your lead time like right now? Uh, three to six weeks on average is where we see. Now the lead times are subject to change. A lot of that's gonna be dependent on, you know, the biggest hang up right now is the, the DLC and the PVD coding. Gotcha. So we're kind of hemmed up with one particular company which we've just switched over to a new company. Okay. Uh, we just had too many issues with the other company. Lead times were insane. You know, they quote two weeks, so we bake that into our lead times. That turns into fucking six weeks. Now we got people pissed off. Gotcha. So, this other company is about the same size, multiple locations throughout the US. So we're hoping that this company can deliver on what they say, which is again, about that seven to 14 day lead time for, okay. the, for DLC. Uh, which is pretty good, right? Yeah, considering, but if they stick to that, yes. Gotcha. What okay. we're seeing with a few of the other companies that we've been leveraging is just blown out six to eight week lead times. Gotcha, okay. But for us, our work's quick. Three to six weeks is a pretty good average. Um, if we're doing a full staccato mod out, so like, you know, our QBO package that we offer or, you know, anything through the staccato customizer where you're sending your whole gun in, we're about six to eight weeks, somewhere in there. Gotcha. We're okay. trying to burn down those times, but at the same plane, we're not, we don't rush. Because yeah. if you rush, that's where shit starts, you start missing things. So we always try to err on the side of ensuring that everything is 100% before it ships out. So. All right, awesome. Uh, you did show back there where Jimmy was kind of hiding, it's like the secret scroll area. Uh, you did show me something really cool that we can't talk about here, but what are we looking at time-wise for that, for that into, project? Into the year. Um, we're not reinventing the wheel <laughs> by any stretch, but it's our spin on the wheel, if you will. Gotcha, okay. So. And then uh, right now, as of, what is this? Uh, Monday. Is still August? Yes. August. Are you hiring locally? So we Not have, remote work, but actually people in shop. We have a potential position coming up here soon, which will be kind of, we need like a everything person. Someone that can ship, someone that can do customer service, someone that can uh, help with bills, stuff like that. As we continue to expand and grow, you know, we're starting to feel that transitional state from, you know, where we're at now, which is, you know, five man company where we need more people. Okay. Um, probably towards the end of the year, maybe early next year, first quarter, we're definitely gonna be looking for an on-site graphic artist, so. Okay, cool. Any of you guys out yeah. in the Dallas area, definitely something to look at, uh, yep. awesome facility. And that's the last question I wanna ask you about. So, tips for other people out there. I get a lot of questions from guys, uh, mainly like the LE side, like, hey, I'm getting out of LE, I wanna start something, what do I do? Yeah. Um, you started this six years ago. Yep, in 400, my garage. 400 <laughs> square feet to what you have now, which is, guys, this is the cleanest shop I've ever seen. Like, I go to a lot of machine shops in Vegas, this, yeah, like, man. <laughs> right when I walked in, he's like, hey, we're anal around here. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It is clean, like, you guys saw the paint booth. Um, but what would be, like, your two biggest tips you could give somebody from, hey, I want to take something, organically build it for the, yeah. for the rest of my life. What are, like, some things that you've, like, what are, like, man, I wish I would have known this. What are those two things? So, profit reinvestment, for sure, right? Don't go into this assuming that you can start this type of business and just fucking, you're gonna rake in all this money. For for me, when I started, what I would have liked to have known was marketing, right? Is you have to build a brand, 
you have to base your brand off what you're selling. So for us, we always try to push the quality side of it versus, you know, hey, I can turn your slide around in two days. There are times where that does in fact happen. If the machinist is running a large order of blocks, then you gotcha. know, we can spit them out quick. But you've got to get your marketing under control and you definitely have to do profit reinvestment. Also, you got to figure out how big do you want to go, right? I mean, you hear the cliche, I never expected it to get this big, but honestly, I didn't. Yeah, right? definitely. I, I walked away from a 13 year corporate job that I fucking loathed. I hated going to work and I finally got to a place where it was like, all right, it's time to shit or get off the pot. You, you can't be successful and hold a full-time job. How scary was that, leaving that to that? Dude, six-figure pay hit, right? I mean, I don't make shit. Everything goes to my guys. Everything goes to all of the different uh, stuff that we offer here. Medical, dental, vision, PTO, uh, paid holidays. You know, we've got three coolers filled with just fucking buy everything you want. We pay for lunch. We pay for snacks. But I think you already know this, man. You can't put like the like, can't put a price on the quality of life you have now. Right. That is <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You know, everyone's like, like oh, I want to be able to control the amount of hours I work, so I'm gonna work for myself. That concept is out the fucking yeah. window. You work um, way more than you ever worked yeah. in your life. Yes. But so. yeah, definitely in, invest in your marketing. Yeah. Know your worth, right? But don't compromise your brand name and quality for speed. <laughs> Because that's where you're What's that get thing? Big. You can have it. Uh, you can pick two out of three: fast, cheap, or good. Yes. Pick two out of three. Man, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know how it is. Lead times are the Achilles' heel in this industry. With what we do, there are a hundred shops behind us that can do it in half the time, half the price, and that's great. Because that stuff ultimately ends up here, where we're having to correct it. So, I mean, we're not in our garage. This is not a startup. We have been doing this for a while. We do have a brand that is recognized, but we're not done. Right? There is so much more that we're getting ready to offer and bring out, but it takes time. That's the other thing. Be prepared to bake and just, you, you have to put in like 100%. Because if you're not ready to grind 100%, you could have a little business, but it Slow will down. never be more than just a little business. Don't expect to get back more than what you're putting in, guys. Oh, yeah. So. For sure. Dude, congrats. Thanks, everything. Man. This is awesome. I'm stoked that we got to come down here and see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely check out the videos we've done, a few on the different uh, porting packages from Vulcan, the Ignis now. Yep. So uh, it's, it's awesome, guys. Um, the QVO gun that you guys saw, the black and gold Gucci build, one yep. of our favorites. Um, but anyway, dude, I appreciate it. I'll let you get back to it. All right, man. Thanks, guys. Ah, ah, dang it, yeah. got me. Ah. <laughs> it's like two dogs.